Oh, Jackie. Jackie. Oh, I've got this. No, I Look. told you this morning I don't want any more t-shirts or pens. No. Nobody's using them. Yeah, Nobody's they, wearing them. They are. They are. Honestly. They. Look. Look. No. Nobody's yes, wearing they are. them. Every place. You can see them everywhere. Where? Look, they're all over the place. Where? Look, just, just turn around. Just turn around. What? Oh, where the... Oh, Here. Everybody's wearing them, right? Jackie's Buzz, what? coming to you not so live from New Haven, Connecticut. Hi, I'm Jackie's Jackie Buzz. with Jackie's Buzz, and I'm here with Charles or Chuck Miller. Chuck Miller, can I call you Chuck? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> with the Connecticut Film Industry Training Program, and we'll be formal and call you Charles, okay? And we're here at Quinnipiac University, where this uh, the classes take place. Is that correct? That's correct. And tell us a little bit about your role. You're an administrator for the. Yes, okay. I work for the Office of Workforce Competitiveness. Wow, that sounds uh, with, very official. Uh, this program was founded in 2006, uh, and uh, we've, uh, well, it was actually founded in 2007, uh, but we've um, run it for the past three years. So for those of you that are surprised about the film industry, I think you'll um, notice a lot of really talented people working in the Connecticut film industry in many different aspects, and this program is very instrumental in that as well, correct? This, this program has trained over 360 people at present with the group that we have just coming in today we'll have over 400 Connecticut residents who have studied this program this is a one month Very exciting. intensive program and is there a website that you can plug away for the Connecticut Film Force or www.ctfilmworkforce.com wonderful and I'm here with Marty Lang and Hadria Douglas nice to talk to you guys thank you for stopping by Jackie's Buzz by the way yeah, no and we're here talking about CT film shorts not to be confused with Connecticut film shorts <laughs> well, it means the same, thing, <laughs> the but same yeah. thing but we like the CT and you started that tell us a little bit about what it is it's a driving force for Connecticut filmmakers short films especially right is that correct um, yes um, Connecticut short films that are made by Connecticut film directors or films that were just shot in Connecticut. Which people are surprised by, and it does happen, people. Lots and lots of films, right? Right. <laughs> so you started this to, what, what is your mission, really? To uh, showcase all the talent around? Uh, and to yes, um, basically to showcase um, the short films that we have out there that's uh, produced in our state. Mm -hmm. um, and basically it started when I noticed that um, a lot of fine Connecticut short films um, they run the film festival circuit. Um, you may see it um, in various little outlets online, and then they just disappear. Mm, what a shame. So I took it upon myself to have um, a centralized place where these films could be showcased and archived and be able to be seen throughout the year. That's wonderful. And Marty Lang, your director and producer, right? No, I'm the writer and producer. Writer and producer. Yep. Okay, we gotta make sure all the credits are good. And yep. it's Time's Up, is that correct? Yep. It was really wonderful. I found it very entertaining. How did this um, this film come about? Um, well, I had started working on the idea for a film like Time's Up, you know, about a, a psychiatrist who was having trouble, uh, you know, being ethical, yes. I guess, is the best way to put it. Yes, um, yes. Just because based on things I've seen and things I've read, right. the, the whole pharmaceutical industry is kind of ripe for satire. Um, so I thought of the idea of the film, and then through the Connecticut Film Industry Training Program, uh, we found out there was an opportunity to actually make a short film through the program oh. in our second year in 2009. So I offered up the screenplay as it was written, and the program liked it, and we actually produced it and made it into a film. Wonderful! Yeah. And is that how you found it? or Actually, I found his film on Vimeo. Vimeo. <laughs> yes, I like to oh, go on these powerful. scouting missions <laughs> and I uh, came across a film and mm -hmm. I tracked him down. He tracked you down. And Marty <laughs> Lang, you're very influential in the area. How long have you been in the film industry in Connecticut? And uh, well, I've been working since about 2000. Uh, the first film I made was a feature called A Little Bit of Lipstick, which shot in Hartford. Oh, very and nice. since then I've produced five or six features and Directed a feature in Hartford last uh, last fall. Wonderful. So, do you yeah. see a big growth in the in the um, state in terms of films? There's lots of films going on. Absolutely. Of and, and I think yeah, there there's a big indie scene now because of the state training initiatives that we've got. 
people that are learning how to work in the business now are looking for ways to get out and practice. Wonderful. So there's short films being shot all over the place, you know, the, the occasional feature film made by, you know, local filmmakers. Give us a plug for your website and of course, Marty, how we can find you as well. Hit. Okay, well, you can basically find my website at ctfilmshorts.com. Amazing films. You have to really watch some of those. It's really cool. And Marty, what is yours? Yeah, you can find uh, my work on Vimeo. Mm -hmm. If you go to Vimeo and look under my name, uh, Marty, M-A-R-T-Y, Lang, L-A-N-G. Wonderful. And IMDb as well, correct? Yes. And I'm once again joined by Hadria Douglas and Matias Shamada. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Yay! I've been goofing on names today, but we won't talk about that. And <laughs> director, producer, writer of a wonderful film, um, One Afternoon, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. It was set in New Haven. It made me cry. It was really, really good. And it was about... Well, I'll let you describe it because I don't want to give it away. How would you describe this short film? Well, One Afternoon is a short film about a young, angry writer who moves to New Haven, <laughs> and he meets his apartment neighbor for the first time, and he's a pianist who recently lost his wife. Yeah, it was really interesting. And how did you two meet, and how did, how did you find his film? Well, I was uh, scouting for Connecticut short films, as I often do, wow. and I went on to Vimeo. And, Vimeo uh, as well. We yeah, just had Vimeo. Another it's it's a great yeah. resource because you wow. can just like type in Connecticut and short films and really? all sorts yes. of things come up. I'm learning all about Vimeo today. That's interesting. Yeah, so, oh. I, so when I came across one afternoon and I watched it, I was like so deeply touched. Yes. I had to get into contact with yeah, him. Yeah, it was. Oh, so you had so, to. Yeah, it was, it's, it was very heart touching. I was like, oh. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to us today. And it so it'll pleasure. be found in festivals and on your website. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, and give us a quick plug for you. How do we find this wonderfully talented director, writer, um, and producer? Well, I don't have an official website, okay. but I do have a YouTube channel. Okay. It's Electric Runner 007. I like that. And I also have a Vimeo account, and you can just search for my name there. Um, so far, One Afternoon is the only film on that channel right now, but I have made another short film called Late November, which is a 16 millimeter short about a love triangle gone horribly wrong. And unfortunately, it's not online right now because it's still playing at festivals, but it will be up shortly. Okay, wonderful. We'll look to see for that one as well. And Hadrea, give us another plug for your... Okay, <laughs> and you can find um, Matias's films and other fine Connecticut short films at ctfilmshorts.com. Thank you so much, guys, for talking to us today. Well, thank you. And that's it for Jackie's Buzz.